So we're a team of five people. And I suppose, in essence, we're supposed to manage the Centrica brand. But we've all got really clear accountabilities. I look after best practice. So Centrica, as you know, has five different markets, primarily the US, the UK, Ireland. And what my job is to do is to look at each market and how do we start sharing best practice amongst them. So I'm the brand manager for British Gas. And that involves me looking after the visual identity and tone of voice. So anything that is branded would come through me or someone in the team to get signed off before it goes out live, which could be anything from 12,000 vans that are on the road with the wow. third largest fleet in the country. Really? Yeah, it's big. Um, and then I also look after the events channel. So that will be things like exhibitions and events and hospitality. I've had, you know, six different jobs, five different offices, loads and loads of variety, definitely keeps you busy, no chance to get bored. So it's really, really good fun. And the thing that I enjoy the most, without a doubt, is every day you're speaking to someone from a different market. Being part of the Centrica team means that you speak to people in North America, you speak to people in Ireland. Even working through time zones is actually quite cool because you always have to schedule meetings a bit oddly. But yeah, for me, talking about the same kind of challenges, the same customers in different parts of the world, being able to pick up the phone and find out how things are in New York versus Houston, that's what I found the best part about the new role. The thing is, what I love about this place is that there isn't any difference in levels. So, like, you know, on our floor, it's not like we're, we're all marketing managers. It's like you will have people who lead marketing, you will have our marketing director sat on the same floor. Culturally, you're encouraged to go and talk to people. They're definitely not afraid to let you learn here or encourage yeah. you to learn. It's a very positive, encouraging culture. Get stuck in, get your sleeves up, go and get what you want. Um, but the path is absolutely there for anyone who wants it. Yeah. The good thing about, I think, my career at Centre is not a ladder. I've not went from one job to another and had to work in this department to the next. It's like a squiggly line. So, I mean, I started, as you know, in the contact centre, like seven years ago, answering the phones, talking to customers. And the business just allowed me, over the course of seven years, to facilitate going into this area of interest. And ever since then, moved around in different jobs. They've offered me career progression. Um, and the role that I've got now, a complete contrast. You know, you go from speaking to customers on the phone to suddenly managing marketing communications for a business of our scale. It's, it's really supportive. Everyone that I've ever worked for, I've been really lucky in that I've had managers who've given you these opportunities and allowed you to fail. The other really good thing about working here is all of the like extracurricular stuff that you get to do. So um, I went on a 900 mile bike ride. I remember we this. raised like Milan. 750,000 pounds for Great Ormond Street, yeah. which was epic. Um, and then last year I went to Africa for two weeks and we white water rafted down the Zambezi River for four days and we raised money for a charity called the Microloan Foundation and that was all part of the Centrica Women's Network. And then obviously there's the gym at the bottom of the office in both offices so you get to go to the gym whenever you want to. I find as well the business is really encouraging of like remote working so it's not like one of those things where your lunch breaks at 12.30 and you've got to be back at 1.30. As long as you crack on with the work, ever since I've been given a laptop and a phone, no one's ever told me to sit at a desk and I can't move until 9 to 5. So if you want to pop out at lunchtime, go for a gym session and come back, I think the fact we have them on the doorstep is awesome and it's all subsidised as well. It's like a couple of pounds to join the gym. They, I think they really understand as well the need to attract really good talent and yep. keep them. So they will always look after everybody who works here because they want them to do a good job. And, you know, at the end of the day, the people that benefit from that are our customers, and that's the important thing. Yeah.